today at the Showman Show 2022. My, my, how does time fly? And we're all having a simply splendid time. <laughs> Have a lovely day. So, as the man said, we are at the Showman Show 2022 and um, we've just come straight outside because we're going to go and see all the big structures. I'm about to get flooded with bubbles. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, it's always such a fun day out at the showman show and, and now it's even more exciting because we've actually got an event space and we've got a bar so there's so much more that we can have a look at this year I mean I'm literally could easily spend 50 grand on like an electric vehicle um, marquee heaters um, pumps for the bar all sorts so we're going to take you around and show you everything there is to see the first place we come to is the magic teapot of course, because we love these guys. They're already Glastonbury way. Um, and this amazing structure is what they take around to festival. They've done 20 festivals this year. So they will bring it. They always have um, live entertainers in here. So you can basically pop this up at any festival. Um, so that, so he's designed them all and he's got glamping versions of them as well, smaller versions. And he's just started on a range of furniture, which um, looks amazing. Just gonna sit down. Oh, it's very comfy. Yeah, I like it. It's beautiful, be beautiful furniture, like really quirky and interesting, um, and really nice kind of outdoor, outdoor furniture. So we're at the Magic Teapot. Okay, now this is really dull and boring, but we really need a marquee heater, so we're going to go and chat to the uh, Thermobile people and see what they have to say. Yeah. Here is a rather lovely clear-sided marquee. Not that we need a marquee, but if you want to do weddings and stuff then this is a beautiful beautiful mucky where are we oh these are anchor guys <laughs> brian managed to snap on a t-shirt last year so um, i guess i bet he's going to see what freebies he might get <laughs> gosh these are gigantic generators i mean thankfully we have a generator now so we haven't got to worry about that um but yeah geez that is humongous so the TV company here, I was surprised they weren't at the camping show actually, but maybe they're trying to go more down the events route. Um, these are really cute, the little tiny teepees. They've got set up for kids, cute. So I guess it's a good, like you can have these extras, um, little spaces at a wedding so that you can kind of tuck the kids away. Um, I love these. We're considering a stretch tent, but I actually think a little teepee would be nice, do you not think? Or, oh, I don't know now, that's a cool as well with the sides on it. This is a good space. Maybe we get these instead of a stretch tent? No, it's on the sides open. On the sides open, yeah. yeah. We just want a shelter place. really, I suppose, don't we? Yeah. So here is what I would say would be their glamping teepee that they've got, um, they've actually got a bed in here, I recognise that bedding. <laughs> um, so this is the, I guess you can have an insulation layer in here as well, which you would definitely need if you were glamping, but it's a really cute little space. It only looks about, I don't know, four metres, something like that, but um, you've got a nice lot of head height in here. Right, let's go into the main event tent. I would so love one of them. If I was getting married again, I'd totally do it in a TP. So you've got this side for all the dining. There's tons of space in here. It looks so pretty. And then you've got options for trestle tables. And then dance floor over here. Disco ball. It's amazing. Love it. So back to marquee heaters. This is the sort of thing we'd be able to have in the dome which standing here is lovely and toasty so this will just stick inside the dome so that's helpful that we've seen that now and we've sussed out what marquee to we're going to get these guys are a big airbag and i guess you literally just climb up the tower jump up into the airbag i mean sounds like fun i'd like to see somebody do it Equally here again, so these are um, toilets for ladies because um, obviously when you go to the toilet as a woman at a festival it takes you three times as long as it takes a man. Um, so they showed the showman show, I think they launched at the showman show last year and they've been going great guns, they've done loads of festivals um, and it's actually a kind of genius way of letting women wee quickly. This is like a gigantic blow up building. It's amazing. I don't know what it's like inside. <laughs> Like a gigantic blow-up building. I mean, how cool is that? 
It's like being in a giant bouncy castle without the bounce. <laughs> Oh no, Brian's found the micro excavator. I mean, it is the cutest little bobcat I've ever seen. <laughs> um, and yes, yeah, sometimes we could do with it, but um, I like to leave it to the professionals. Well. Electric. Ah, oh, this is the thing these days. Loads of these type of stuff is all electric now. Um, but yeah, we don't need a telly hammer. Okay, stretch tent. So this is the sort of thing we want up on the field, basically to give some shelter, shade from the sun, shade from the rain, um, put it by the, instead of the outdoor kitchen, we want to rip out the outdoor kitchen and kind of put one of these instead. I mean, this is massive, um, but they obviously do a lot smaller versions. So we're gonna chat to the guys at Q Tents. Nomadic tents are here as well, but they don't have one on show. So we might go and chat to them. Um, they've got an, a massive one out here as well. Let me just show you that. Um, which is obviously way too big. I really worry about the wind, but it's quite a windy day and it seems to be absolutely fine. Um, it does create a nice bit of shelter. So this is cute, and I don't even know if you'd need much bigger than this. And this looks a bit more easy to construct. Do you not think? Um, I feel like I might snaffle a Q tent pen. Anybody mind? Um, yeah, I don't even know what the size this is, but I'd like to have some little outdoor seating in here, have the fire pit out there, I think it would be quite cool. What colour would you go for, Brian? Like the good old standard? Oh, I like the standard if I want. Yeah, were. I wouldn't go for red. No. Well, you could go white, but then I feel like that would get dirty, yeah. Dirty. I think. I think a nice sandy yeah. colour, yeah. Right, next on the shopping list is some sort of electric vehicle to drive up and down the field in so I don't have to drive my van around. Um, so this sort of thing would be perfect. Obviously don't need that many to seat anybody. So this one would be good. It's got two seats, we can shove all the cleaning stuff in the back. Um, yeah. Now we've just got to figure out how on earth much it is. Look, there's a John Deere. I mean, this is really what I want, but this is just genuinely what I cannot afford. Electric John Deere. So the last one I was looking at the club car was 13,000 with my cab on the back of my change of batteries. I'd imagine this gate is a lot more than that. Here's the uh, Magic Teapot mini version that we saw earlier. Um, I'm just gonna poke my camera through. So they've always got a fire going. They've always got live music in here and uh, they normally make you a cup of tea. And they take you to festivals and people just come in here to get out of the shelter and have a cup of tea and um, get the uh, good media vibes. Do you want a stage, Brian? I'd love a stage. Although I think it would take up most of our field. <laughs> yeah, I think it would. Sure what we would do with it. No, just get out there and have a dance. We'll have a big party, big rock band. Yeah, I'm sure the village would love that. Craig here, this is a uh, blow-up dome. I mean, it's good if you want event shelter. You literally just blow it up and there you go, you've got a whole, uh, the whole shelter. So we've also got the TV company, we've also got this TV, um, which is a little bit bigger as a glamping TV. I'm just gonna sneak in and have a look. Oh, so this has got, a, a, it's a much bigger TV. You get a nice double bed in there. Plus then they've added on a loo, which is pretty clever. I haven't seen them do that before, even at the glamping show. Um, so they've got like nice material over the blinds. So they've literally just attached this toilet, like whole bathroom pod, shower, sink, toilet, onto the side of the teepee, which I have not seen before. We've also got an igloo here, which we filmed Kate's igloo. I'll link the video here so you can see her one. She's got a much bigger one. Um, they call it the nest. But, um, this is a nice little compact one. I mean, look at that beautiful bed. That is amazing. And then they've got a kitchen area, wine fridge, and then the bathroom is here. I'm assuming, oh, that's a wet room. Look, there's a shower there. That's really cool. And um, I'm just gonna walk in because I can, because it's massive. Toilet. I mean, how cool is this? That's the shower. Now, surely every event needs a camel. I mean, oh my goodness. They're beautiful. I, mean, I don't know quite what you do with them. 
And please don't spit at me. If you decided that you didn't actually want a camel at your event, why not a dinosaur? I mean, these guys were here last year, they're hilarious. I've seen them at quite a few events. And um, yeah, it's like having a real dinosaur at your event. I mean, look at, look at him. I feel sorry for the poor people in the suits, but um, yeah. You can get all sorts of mini tiny dinosaurs. You can get some gigantic dinosaurs. <laughs> Oh, they're so lovable. <laughs> so Brian is made up because he's just found this new product called Soundbox. And as you guys know, we had the last event and the generator was going kadak kadak kadak. This totally sounds right. Come have a listen. So you're right here, it's really, really noisy. But the other side, and it totally like makes it does deaden it. I would I would argue whether you would need something over the top as well. No, because it's just, well, we can test that out. Yeah, but yeah, it, to it totally reduces the sound. Um, does it have to come in yellow? <laughs> That's my question. No, no, it doesn't have to come in yellow. It's a bit conspicuous. I'd rather it was like a like, nice green colour or... I'm sure we can chat about it. Well, <laughs> well, that's good. Um, so yeah, we think this may have revolutionised the uh, generator general sound issue. And there's some quite cool shaped marquees. I mean, they've got a lot of like the square standard marquees. They've got this cool kind of saily one. And then the Celeste marquee is always really pretty. Um, as much as I'd love a marquee. Don't need one now, I've got a dome. So here's the Bubble Ink man. Who, uh, if you would like bubbles at your event, then uh, this is the man to call. There's smoke filled bubbles as well, that's pretty cool. So you can just literally hire a bar, like they'll just deliver you a whole bar. I needn't have bothered converting my trailer. Well, that's available quite, for hire as well. That's quite a cool way of doing a photo frame. Okay, and the, so you do container, bar yes, we hire. Do containers, and we also run events, but that means we also do picnic benches, ski gondolas. So ski gondolas? Yeah. So you, what, you just plonk your ski gondola at someone's event? Yeah. But it, well, it's an indoor booth. Well, there you go. There you go. Who knew? You can brand it up and then it can be anything you want it to be. That's very that's clever. So we're inside now looking at all a few of the suppliers that are inside and um, somebody I wanted to talk to was Green Goblet. They're only up in Highbridge, not far from us. Um, and they do all the reusable cups, which I was hoping to get for the bar. So like you can basically have anything printed that you want onto your cup. So I was thinking like a track some green logo would be quite good. Um, they do all sorts of different type size cups, so I just want to have a little chat to them. So these are another set of cups and they are, I'm liking the fact that they're only carbon neutral reusable cup system. So then they're just their own branded cups, but then it says on them things like, I'm reusable cup, please don't take me home, please return me. We don't want to be using um, glass up on the field, so this might be a good solution. So that was our roundup of the showman show. It was quite a fun day out. We um, obviously are doing it in the school day, so we have to kind of get on with it but um, I think we saw everything we wanted to see we've yeah, got a couple of stretching ideas we've almost sorted a marquee heater um, so yeah and a car and a buggy yeah to take all our stuff around so um, hopefully you enjoyed it let us know what you think and if you're thinking about getting into events then let us know because we could probably do with some help <laughs> we have no clue um, and we will see you next time